Good day, Sail Wars fans. I'm Sandy Pondwater coming to you from the 2022 Capital Cup. This is where Dragon Force 65s face off in team racing using A rigs only. They can, of course, use long or short kills. Now the scoring is a little bit different because you get five points if you finish first, four points if you finish second, three points if you finish third, two points if you finish fourth, and one point if you finish fifth. Sixth through thirteenth place gets you zero points. And contact us if you want to join next year's event. And of course, we love the AMYA. Let's meet our teams. The Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club, located in Frederick, Maryland. Number 965, Chris. Number 103, Ara. Number 777, Bart. Number 78, Allen. And number 02, Walter. The Maryland Model Yacht Club located in Columbia, Maryland. Number 14, Mike. Number 93, Kyle. Number 59, John. Number 77, Steve. And number 08, Carl, who was not shown. The Solomon's Island Model Boat Club, located in Solomon's, Maryland. Number 49, Colin. Number 75, George. Number 53, Rob. And introducing the Pawn Monster. Now let's go racing. Wait! Stop right here. If you haven't subscribed, please do so at this time. It's free. Pause, and we will wait. Now, let's go racing. Here we are at the final race, race eight of eight. Now, the current standings after race seven... Maryland Model Yacht Club is in first with 46 points. Second place is Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club with 38 points. And the Solomons has 8 points. Can Northern Maryland come back? Their team captain thinks so. Flashback to 2021. Right here. And Bart is inching to that line. Bart is trying to play the capital gun. He has to avoid four. Seven, Bart. seven, seven. Yes. For the club win. Good job, Bart. Nice. Will Maryland blow a 15 point lead? Will the Solomons get more than 10 points? Yeah, we're not swinging punches there. <laughs> <laughs> Will Mahi be the hero like last year? Who will win? Remember, there's 30 points up for grabs in this race. Let's watch the start of the race. Seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, totally flubber. One. Zero eight, over. Number 08, Carl is over the line early. Now he'll just have to do a dip start back across the line, which won't, won't take very long. Right now, number 777, Bart is in first, and number 77, Steve, is in second place. Remember, they're closer to that first mark. Number 59, John, is in third, and number 08, Carl, is in fourth place. 
Number 78, Allen is in fifth, and number 02, Walter is sixth. Number 93, Kyle is in seventh, and number 53, Rob is in eighth place. We see Mahi way up high. You can see he's pretty even with that mark, giving him an advantage. Now remember, they're racing two laps. They have to race down this end of the course. There's two marks which they go around to port side. And then they head downwind where there is two marks, but that's a gate where they pick which way they want to go inside and out around. Look out! And number 14, Mike has to duck Walter because he was on port and Walter was on starboard and he successfully avoids Walter and there is no penalty there as they head up to that first mark. We can see Bart way up there still in first place. Pretty close to that mark. Let's see if the wind is going to benefit Mahi today. Remember, he needs to come up big in this race if Northern Maryland's going to make a combat. But number 59, John passes Bart for first, so Bart's in second. Walter has moved up to third, and Mike has dropped to fourth place. As we get a good look at Rob's number 53 red boat right there, as we see John go around that first mark, it looks like Bart is having problems. He has to avoid his teammate, Walter, as he goes back over. Now, Walter moves into second, but Bart is in third. But that may change as Mike puts a good move on Walter and moves into second place. And Mahi falters a little bit. That's going to cost him as he still hasn't made his way around that mark. Now, he's got to avoid these two boats by going way out and around as he falls to sixth place right there. But he goes out and around those two boats. So he does not make contact. And he successfully passes both of those boats, which was Colin and Carl. That was a great outside move by Bart and Mahi. Number 49, Colin is now in fifth place. And Carl is in sixth place. Carl's in that blue boat right there. Number 08. Colin is 49 as they round that second mark following Bart and Mahi downwind. Number 77, Steve, is currently in last place. There's number 14, Mike. And Walter is right there in the black boat. They're battling for second place as they head downwind. There we catch back up to Mahi. Mahi's currently in fourth place and Colin is in fifth place. R is just now rounding the first mark. We see him up there. So R is in 12th and Steve is in last place in 13th place, bringing up the rear of the fleet. Number 93, Kyle passes Allen to move into 10th place. We see Steve up there having problems catching the wind. He's turning around. He may be fighting with the pond monster. We'll have to check. There's some turbulence in the water. And yes, the pond monster has Steve. Oh my gosh, look how fast the race director rescues Steve. Incredible. It was like he was out there lightning fast. And let's thank our volunteers out here for Cell Wars. Remember, they do not get paid, and the way we can thank them is pausing this video and subscribing. It's free. Now let's catch back up with our leaders. But don't forget to subscribe. John is in first and Walter's in second. Mike is in third, and Bart has moved up to fourth place as we see him go down there around that mark. Now, remember when Bart got caught right in that area when he was way out front in a race. As we catch up with Chris in seventh and George is in eighth. This is a good race for George. Rob is in ninth place in that red boat heading down when, as we see, Mike has passed Walter for second place. 
see Mahi coming up towards the the side closest to our camera. He's still in fourth place. He's being chased by that blue boat of Carl number 08. And there we see Kyle heading downwind, passing by Bart. There is Walter and Mike. And we catch up. There's our leader, John, right there. Just saw the star on him. And we see that's Alan in the black boat with the white sails heading downwind. But he's towards the back of the fleet. We can see our top five right there. Remember, Mahi is in fourth. Carl is in fifth. And then there's a big gap before we get to sixth place. That's Chris. Number 965. And one lap is complete. Our leaders have crossed that start finish line so one of the two laps is complete at this time walter and bart had better move up and take first and second if they have any chance at winning the wind is not being kind though And look at that, the first six boats have an incredible lead over the rest. So seventh place, look at how far back they are. But anything can change, as we know, the race is not over until it's over. But look at that, the wind is just died away. And look at that, here comes Steve trying to get in the way of Mahi. Steve is way back at the back of the fleet in 12th place, but he's aiming right towards Mahi on the right of the screen. See, Steve's that blue bloat with the black sails. He's trying to get Bart to foul him, and Mahi has to do all he can. You should have heard the grappling going back and forth, but Mahi escapes Steve's clutches, but it does throw him off his line and makes him go in attack that's farther away from the mark so steve did his job he was at the back of the pack and he got in the way of our fourth place boat and that's how team racing works sometimes the people at the back of the fleet can affect the those at the front of the fleet to help their teammates that's why i love watching team racing as we see Aura, who's in 13th place right there, he's still trying to make his way down the course as the wind is not being kind to him at all. John is currently in first place and Mike's in second. Both of them are Maryland Mall Yacht Club, so they would love to finish in that. And Walter's in third and Bart's in fourth. They need to reverse that if they're gonna have a chance to win. Colin's in fifth and Carl's in sixth. So Colin is from the Solomons. He would like to get a good finish for them to get more points. And of course, that fifth place spot is held by Carl right now. He's part of the Maryland Mall Yacht Club, so he would be just adding to their lead. Northern Maryland Mall Yacht Club needs a couple more of their members to get up at the front of the fleet. We're not sure if it's going to happen, though. The wind is not cooperating, as we see. It's puffing in some areas and dying in other areas. So a lot of lucks there. And, of course, as we see, that pond monster is always out there lurking. There we see R. He's, he's on Northern Maryland. He's desperately trying to get down there so he can help out a bit. Sometimes, though, we saw Steve get in Bart's way and and obstruct him so Aura could always play that part in this race as Chris moves up to fourth place and Colin fifth Chris got some good wind as he came up the course I think he was way back in like seventh or eighth place and then he caught those leaders so remember what I said it's never over till it's over and you never know where the puff is coming from as we see R is moving quite quickly down and he's actually catching up to Steve. But Steve and R, of course, are at the back of the fleet. But remember, they can have an impact as they're going to have to come back up through the leaders. Now, let's see if Steve and Aura can get in front of the other clubs to try to make them, you know, force them into a penalty or off course. So we see Steve. He's really good at doing that. Let's see if R takes some notes and follows Steve up. But remember, if they were, 
like playing to get in front. They're going to want to be more on this side of the course. And we see the leaders right there. R should be veering off in front of those two leaders to see if he can draw a penalty on both of them as we see Walter trying to catch up. Is R going to come off in front of them? As we can see, Mike has taken over first place from John as John's in second. Walter's in third, and Colin has passed Bart and moved up into fourth place. Chris is in fifth, and Bart has dropped to sixth place. Let's see if Ara got in front of those leaders. Hopefully he's not out there following Steve, because Steve's out of it. He's not going to be able to obstruct Walter or Bart or Chris as we see Mahi coming back through the start finish line. And there is Kyle, number 93 in that white boat with the white cells following behind Mahi. No, and Ara is all the way across the lake. Now remember, take notes for next year, all you Capital Cup teammates. If you're at the back of the fleet, the only way you can help your teammates is to get in front and draw a foul or cause the players on or the sailors on the other team to adjust their course. So R should have been on this side and got in front of those leaders. Because Ara is a whole lap down now as he goes through the start finish line. And now he is coming back to this side, but he'll never catch up with the leaders. But we will catch up with our leaders as they go around and through that gate and they head towards that finish line for the last time. Mike is currently in first place and John in second place trying to tie up this Capital Cup for the Maryland Mall Yacht Club. Bart has moved all the way up into third place. He's trying so hard to get to the front. Remember, he was in sixth, sixth place not long ago. So Mahi is trying to make a comeback, desperately trying to catch up, but it's not going to happen. Maryland Model Yacht Club is going to win this year's Capital Cup, led by number 14, Mike, as he wins race number eight for double points and 59 John takes second place and look at this somehow Chris slid right up in there Chris is going to bring home some points for the Northern Maryland Mile Yacht Club as he takes third place but it's not going to be enough as Colin takes fourth for the Solomons so that's good for them get more points and Mahi is going to get in the points but it's not near enough as number 777 Bart and Mahi take fifth place So, congratulations to our top five. First place, Mike. Second place, John. Third place, Chris. Fourth place, Colin. And fifth place, Bart and Mahi. And our final standings for the 2022 Capital Cup is first place, the Maryland Model Yacht Club with 74 points. In second place, Northern Maryland Mall Yacht Club with 49 points. In third place is the Solomon Island Model Boat Club with 14 points. Congratulations to the Maryland Model Yacht Club. Very well done today. You guys worked as a team and it was very evident. So congratulations. There are our champions. Now, please subscribe and hit like for more videos. And of course, share this with your friends. Now, Sail Wars would like to thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Attention all club webmasters, Sail Wars needs your support. Please make it easy for your club members by putting a link to our homepage on your club's website. Thank you so much from all of us at Cell Wars. Now, when you get to the Cell Wars YouTube homepage, up there on that top left, just copy that and put that on your website. Then your members can come and look at our playlist. They can look at all of our videos, which we have more than 200 now. And of course, they can subscribe. We need your subscriptions. And here's a hint. Check out the best of Cell Wars. That's where all of our editors put their favorite videos so well worth the watch
Now, of course, make sure you join a great club near you like the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club. And remember, Sail Wars is completely made up of volunteers. Nobody gets paid here, so we really appreciate you subscribing and supporting us. And don't forget to visit the Calvert Marine Museum. This is Sandy Pondwater, signing off, and I'll see you at the next race.